You got me excited for a minute. <laughs> well, let's not waste the excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Mystery Podcast, episode 138 for Thursday, the 17th of August, 2017. I'm so glad Kent put the right date on there because I'd be ass out if it wasn't. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos. Today is my 22nd anniversary in the damn Air Force. Uh, that's Kent and that's Crunchy. How y'all doing today? Hey, guys. Hey. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Crunchy is back. I'm breathing and I have a vagina. <laughs> uh that's technicalities really i guess um you know um i uh yeah 22 days man tw- or 22 years 22 years today uh 22 years ago i shipped off to indianapolis and then summarily went to texas and um yeah i've been been all over the damn world so i guess i can't complain too much it's uh it is what it is it's been fun 20, 22 years, man. I mean, like, how does that make you feel, though? Like, 22, that's two decades and two years. That's way over half your life. Um, yeah, it, uh, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's a good bit over, over half my life, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but really what it comes down to is my life is completely changed because of my military service. The opportunity that it's provided, the education that I've gotten, even though I haven't fully utilized that, the people I've met, uh, my own personal internal frustration and anger wouldn't be the same if it weren't for the 22 years of service. So, <laughs> right. and uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't have any of my kids, uh, my stepkids, or my wife um, if it weren't for the military. So, I mean, yep. I'm already giving my, my my I'm already giving this is a preview to my retirement speech when it happens. That's what that was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your practice in, man. Hey, Crunchy, no, I, uh, I, I, when, when are you going to retire, Crunchy? I'm not. I'm going <laughs> to die way before retirement age. <laughs> um, uh, w- Waffles wants to know how the dill dazzling went. Uh, it looks good. Yeah? I think it looks good. It yeah? looks really real. Is, so. is, it, is it all about the aesthetics? Is that, what the, is that the important part? Uh, no, you can definitely feel it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm work. I'm st- guys, God, I am still working up to it. Um, you can feel it fucking a lot, but I think, uh, yeah, yeah. Phrasing. Like, okay, never mind. Good call. Yeah. <laughs> Ken, how was your week, man? <laughs> Dude, oh my god. So th- this has been a crazy week. So you know, you were talking about two- twenty-two years in the military. Like it's been a long time. You know, another thing that that'll make you feel old is your kid going to college. Mm. And uh, yeah, so Lucas started college yesterday. Uh, yeah, so I, I I'm feeling old. Yeah. Um, mm. uh, Amber became a senior officially. Uh, will be will become a senior officially on Tuesday. Check this out, man. So we got this eclipse going on on Monday, right? The like, eclipse. The, yeah, like the eclipse. E- so like 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 email eclipse. Okay. Gotcha. I'm I'm with you now. Was it supposed to be like Oclipse? Like I don't know. just you know, most people call it the eclipse, but you know you. No, 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 no. I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> so um, she becomes a senior on Tuesday. They were supposed to start school in South Carolina on Monday, but because of the eclipse, um, they'd moved the school date back one day, so that everybody could participate. Ah. And yet okay. there are some schools in like. Uh, Missouri or whatever, where they're not going to, they're not even going to let the kids outside to witness it. See, that's for BS. recess. I know that is BS. Yeah. The, the, the eclipse only lasts a few minutes. You can, you can take 10 minutes out of the day to let mm. the children see this, this rare event. When I was growing up, I saw a partial eclipse in California during the school year, school day. And any time the shuttle came in to land, uh, any time it couldn't, you know, land it in Houston or whatever, and it went mm-hmm. to land at Alternate Airfield was Edwards Air Force Base, which was like right next to where I lived. We, they would mm-hmm. all they'd let us go outside so we could we could witness it. And basically, the first kid that could identify where it was would like get like a pizza a day or something like that. It was like every mm-hmm. time that w- that would happen. Of course, it happened right? less as they started blowing up. 
whatever. It's science, and it's like once in a lifetime. That's some bullshit. Right. It's right. yeah. It's complete crap. I, I like South Carolina's way better. Of course, in South Carolina, they're just trying to get the kids out of school. So, <laughs> <laughs> got to maintain that number forty nine position. Uh. <laughs> what were those? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to um, eclipse. What were those things called with the? Uh, they they played like one minute of a song and they were super cool when I was in like first grade, which was probably like ninety two. <laughs> Yes, what were those things called? Because you could buy them for like, uh, like they were like a little cartridge that had like, like three. Oh. Like, they should have been eclips. They were hit clips. Hit clips. Hit clips. Hit clips. Yeah. Because yeah. they had like little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, so shitty. So shitty. <laughs> now I had. Now I had to look these up. What a failure of an idea! But you know what? I wish I had a box full of those things because because <laughs> some hipster wants them right now. Some hip right. clipster wants them right now. <laughs> a clipster. Oh, they're yep. hip clips with a K. <laughs> hip clips with a no. That, that's a that's a oh. new thing. That's a new yeah, thing. Yeah, that's, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> is, oh, hit like H I T. Oh, hit. Oh, yeah, gosh. yeah. Oh, shit. So, so, Crunchy, what's your week been like? <laughs> My week is, you know, the usual for me. It's been a thing. Um. So earlier this week, Monday actually, uh, I was at work. And my coworker tells me to come out and smoke with him because he needs to talk to me. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm in trouble. And then he's like, we're going to get a painful call tonight. And I'm like, oh, no, call Richard. Because I'm thinking it's going to be like, we have to carry a 400-pound person down two flights of stairs or some shit. Like literally right. painful. Like, no. You're going for literal physical pain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and then he tells me that Maggie died. And Maggie's like one of the six people that works at the mortuary. And she was only 45. She was completely healthy. So it was out of fucking nowhere. I guess she had a seizure. So we had to... I ended up actually having not to go to the hospital because her best friend also works there and wanted to do it. But she brought her back and I, like, helped clean her up. I helped, like, take all the pads and everything from the hospital off and helped clean some blood off. And it's, oh. it's like... I don't know. I don't know. It hits you in a weird way. It's really surreal. Um, I know our last day of school, right before I graduated, they said, congratulations, you made it. If you decide to pursue this career, you will bury your friend someday. And we're like, oh, well, happy graduation to us. Um, um, yeah. But they can't say we weren't warned. Um, oh, gosh. Like, I yeah. can't even have, like, this person was, was probably standing next to you, like, just days prior. I just talked to her the day before, because she had to go do an emergency transport. Um, the funeral home was worried, because the family wanted them in town, like, four hours away that night. And one was a lawyer, one wrote for the newspaper. And she had to go do a transport throughout the night and not sleep that night. And the guy tipped her in steak. So she came back from a four-hour drive going, I can't even put this in a refrigerator on the way back. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> and then they made fun of me and my fake chicken that I brought for lunch. Um, fake chicken? Fake like chicken. 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 Yeah, like chicken with an apostrophe instead of an E. Ah, uh, It's delicious. Yeah. Shh. It's delicious. I, I, th <laughs> I think you're burying the lead. What is this fake chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's still somebody that you talk to multiple times a week and everything like that. So it was just, it was just crazy. Um, but, but Stacy yeah. moved here this week. So that was fun. I had to take her to see the bats before she lived here too long and can't do tourist things anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So, all right. So Stacy, like Stacy B 23. Yeah. Uh, chat realms, beloved Stacy is yeah. now living near you. Who, by, by the way, is not in the chat room tonight. Right. Yes. Noted. We've noted. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was going to the Nomad Bar. Uh, you, you nomad know, Bar is I mean, cooler than I am. Um, hey, uh, real quick, I found that uh, I found those uh, those those hit clips. <laughs> the e clips. Oh, uh, the e th these are these are uh, yeah hit clips. Uh, hit clips. And then, the, and then yes. there's also kid clips and uh, some other uh, whatever random other shit. Um, so there's that. Oh, excellent! Proof okay. that that was a thing. We weren't just making it up because you know we don't do that on this show. <laughs> never, we never make things up. <laughs> nah, um, only facts. 
Hey man, I uh I went school shopping this week with the kids while my wife was at work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was miserable. It's due. Yeah. That was uh, absolutely miserable. <laughs> not because of the kids and not because of the shopping. Just just because of the people. I I like I don't know if I've ever said this before, but I I kind of hate people. Uh you know, I think maybe you <laughs> did that once or twice. I and I I don't know why. I like I have don't I don't have any really good solid singular reason to despise the 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 general stupid public as much as I do. You just it, said it. They're stupid. They're stupid. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when our guest proves my point. Um <laughs> but yeah, I just I just man, I just really can't uh it was, the stu- like this one lady wasn't wearing a bra, she was wearing a lace shirt. Which would have been cool if there weren't like five hundred kids around, so like every kid in there was staring at her. I mean, I was too, so I don't know if that really if, if I can I, I just I kinda just wanted to say that. I don't no, know that I really had a point. You were you were shopping for like like notebooks and pencils and things? Clothes shopping. No, we didn't do the, oh, the okay. oh, no, this is, we, we went to the one mall that has more than one uh more than one clothing store in it. Um Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Amos, yeah. I just want to say that you really redeemed yourself because I was looking at the show notes and I was like, what happened this week? School shopping. Oh, this guy is living on the edge. <laughs> 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 there was a point to it. That's uh, good. We, we don't we don't have we don't have uh, show notes on the show. We, we don't believe in show notes. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Hey, Cabo, they were the in way, my head. Cabo <laughs> says that Amos was checking out the pencil erasers. Uh <laughs> I mean, <laughs> can you can you blame me? Sometimes sometimes pencil races just need to be rubbed in order to activate. Um, uh, so did did Lucas finally get his license? Dude, he did. Like yesterday was a big day for him. Not only did he start college, his day started out with his driving test. Which, you know, you're thinking, okay, that's that's a big deal. You know, taking your driving test. His test was the easiest thing that happened yesterday. Like, where's we the car? Had... The car's right there. You win. Yeah, like <laughs> it, was, it was super easy. He drove around with the with I guess Proctor is that what you call the uh, the person? Uh, so he, he he drove with the Proctor for like maybe twenty minutes, maybe twenty minutes. Yeah. The rest of the day, because I because this was in the morning, and I took four hours off of work yesterday. I took a half day. So that I could go there with him, you know, drive him there because, you know, he was still on a permit, so he couldn't drive himself. So I drove him there and he, he did everything he needed to do. But when it came time to the documentation that they needed, um, there were three things on the list that they gave us. We had all three of those things. They didn't show us the super secret list of the eight things that he needed, like birth certificate uh, driver's ed completion certificate, like all these things were not on the list. So we had to go on a scavenger hunt. I ended up taking the whole day off. Jesus. Uh, so that we could gather all the required documents. So, so he goes in the morning and passes his test, and then they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, now that, uh, now that you think you can drive, go find eight more random pieces of paper from the, <laughs> from the depths of your parents' garage before you can become a real man and have a license. Yes, so that took several hours, actually, to gather all of this crap together. But what would, the worst part was, we get back to the DMV, or New Mexico calls it the MVD, the Motor Vehicles Division, because they want to be different. Uh, like, what, what do they call it in Indiana? The BMV, the Bureau of Motor mm-hmm. Vehicles. So there's a couple states that, that want to be different. Uh, but anyway, so the DMV, we get back there, and we had to start the line all over again. Do you remember that scene in in Beetlejuice where he's sitting there like in the, the like hell's waiting room. <laughs> and he's just that, trying to strike up conversation with anybody. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what our three hour experience was. Oh Jesus. Wait. And I even tweeted that if you are bad in hell, you go, you, you go to the DMV when you die. Mm. Like it's the worst man. It is I, the worst. That's one thing about Texas is if you were there for like the DM, non-licensed DMV was so simple in Texas. You go in, there's like five people behind a, behind a register like counter or whatever. 
and there's never more than one person in line. So you basically just walk in, get your, your tags or whatever, and you walk out. Licensing, however, was horrendous in Texas. Here in, uh, here in Alaska, I've never waited more than 10 minutes to take a driving test, to oh get my, my truck registered, to anything. It's, it's like in and out, done. See, first time I'm I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm, sens- I'm sensing some animosity from Crunchy. I don't I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I didn't know she spoke sign language, but I'm clear that that was like <laughs> a uh, that was an indicator of her mood. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. No, what say you, Crunchy? What What are your thoughts on this matter? Because you're in Texas, so what do you think I about am. BMV? It, first of all, yeah, I do believe it's BMV here, um, but. <laughs> I had to go transfer my license to a Texas license and I had to go the three times. The third time they still weren't going to let me get it until eventually the woman that's like at the door every day and like checks all my shit was like, okay, no guys, this isn't right. This isn't fair. Last time you told her all she had to do was bring this bill and she'd be good. And now she brought the bill and you're telling her she needs more. No, let her go. That's good enough. Let her through, let her through. (laughs) It was a pain in the ass. Jeez. Uh, yeah, it's the worst, man. It is the worst. And it's, it's well, typically it's not the people's fault. It's, that's like the, the DMV is like a, it's like circular logic. The people don't want to be there, so then the people behind the counter don't want to serve, and then that just makes the people not want to be there more, which makes the people not want to serve more. It, it's, it's like this, like if you go there first thing, if you're the first customer being seen that day, you're out in like five minutes, you're happy, you got a chub, like the day <laughs> is good, right? If you're there past, like, if you walk in the door more than 10 minutes after they open, your day is fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's basically true. Like, Though I never walked out of the DMV with a chub. Not once. You, you should come to <laughs> <Me> Alaska. <laughs> you, should to- <laughs> you should totally come to Alaska. Oh, when does that shrink it? Uh, not in the summertime. It's nice. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's just starting to get cold here uh, in case you're wondering what the current state of uh, Alaskan weather is it's just starting to get cold the highs are in the 60s lows are in the 40s um, we didn't really have much of a summer uh, the high this summer I think was like 78 degrees I don't even know I don't think we ever hit the 80s whereas last year we hit the like 90 one time or whatever that's cold um, it, it's just starting to get cold like I'm just now like oh, I should probably wear pants so it's pretty sweet. It's pretty amazing. This winter is going to be fucking hellacious, though, because we did not have a summer. Like, there's still mountains that have have snow caps on them. Like, the the glaciers actually grew this year. I'm pretty pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we 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 globally cooled here in Alaska, and it's going to yeah. be a hellacious winter. But we'll figure it out. Hashtag fuck Alaska. Uh, hashtag <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I don't know, did, Crunchy. Did you did you find any way to get geeky this week with, with all the other stuff that's been going on? Geeky is relative. It is. So if, it is. Oh, I am it, not very good at it compared to everyone else here. Um, there, I met a guy that we were. He was going to teach me how to play Dungeons and Dragons, but mm. apparently not. So instead, we went back to his house. He threw me in a swimming pool. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've been in water in 13, 14 years, literally half my life. Um, but and you should so, shout like once in a while. Shower's the only place. <laughs> <laughs> and rain, rain. Um, Which are the kind of the same thing. It's just the, this, the, you trade soap for clothes. You know, that's the only difference between yeah. rain right. and a shower. That's pretty much the only difference. And I was still in clothes when they threw me in. So, so yeah. as I was. Uh, Waiting for my clothes to dry, he wanted to go on his little Netflix binge. Mm. Guess what we watched? My the show would, I watched for the first would, time. Would ever. that be yes. like Netflix and yes. Chili? Since you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dad jokes! <laughs> Damn it, dad! I like it. <clears throat> what did you watch? Guess. Mm. Um, Daredevil. What the fuck is Since that? The- you said Netflix shows. I was just trying to, I don't know, House of Cards. X-Files. Never seen it. The original oh. series. Oh, yeah. wow. Wow. So I I, I, Netflix. I kind of share with you as in I've seen a few ep- odds and ends episodes, but never a full episode and never two in a row. Mm. So well, We watched two in a row. <laughs> two. 
Were they at least the first two? Uh-huh. Okay, I was, I was, I was going to say, he didn't throw you in the middle of season eight with the Smoky Man or anything, did he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, the, the, you mean the cigarette smoking man. Whatever. Um, see, this is how much I know about the show. No, um, yeah, that's that's really cool because I'm almost there with Amos where I didn't, you know, I was not a devotee to that show. Uh, but it was one of those things that was on every week, and I, you know, I would I would catch it when I could. So I don't know if I've seen it, actually two episodes in a row, but I've definitely seen full episodes. The and- X Files came out. They, it was a it was a Friday evening show when me and Kent were in junior and then full fledged high school. Like, you know what we were doing on Friday nights? Not sitting at home. We were out trying to. That's- Figure out how to get laid. Like that was. We, we were getting in trouble, doing our best to not get caught getting in trouble. <laughs> there you go, nailed that's, it. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> you know, whatever Sounds it was, about right. Yeah. Um. No, but the thing is about the show, like everything that I've heard about it, it sounds awesome. Uh, all the, sh- the the parts that I've watched sound awesome. The lore that I've read or heard about sounds awesome. J- just not enough for me to dedicate several hundred hours to well, I'm, with, with how much content is out there right now I, I mean nobody nobody is like aching to talk about the episode of X-Files that you just watched this, you is, know, so, this, is, this is actually well, why I think this is why I think Firefly had such a resurgence because there's only like 14 episodes or whatever so like you can digest that you can hit that on a weekend on a long weekend and be done with it and everybody can do that because it's been on Netflix forever yeah, or you can borrow yeah. the DVDs from somebody or just burn them offline or whatever. Um, exactly. But you can digest the entire experience in a weekend. Oh, you, eat in a day if you were dedicated. You can't do that with like <laughs> most other shows. Yeah, yeah. You know, just, just a one-season show, a 24-episode one-season show. Uh, like that's a, lot of, that's a lot of times I get to hit continue. <laughs> you know? We're... <laughs> Like if you just let Firefly run, you're only gonna have to hit continue twice, and then you're done with the series. You take right. a break. You you know. If you go to um, if you go to GoStream.is or is, you don't have to hit continue at all. It just auto plays for you. See, oh, like there see. you go. But that's why that's one of the reasons I think Firefly was so easy, so so well caught on to in the late aughts and the early teens. I mean. That and just that it's amazing. One well, you, you, that doesn't hurt. You know, the the, the amazement of the con of of, of an aura. Um, an aura. An aura. Aww. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Kaylee's better. But anyway. Um, well, yeah, but she. But watching. but but what's her name gets tired of hearing that like all the fucking time. So you got to divert a little bit of the attention over. Ah, uh, whatever. But as Jewel State says, she is not Kaylee. She's not the character she plays. She is not. If you follow her Twitter, she is not Kaylee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I love it both. I love I love Jewel and Kaylee. Uh, they're both fantastic. Which one um, would you rather meet in per- like in, in person? Like if in an yeah. ultimate world where there's like you know multiple multiple universes and shit, which well, you, you know what I mean. Like if you could have a choice of going to going here and meeting Jewel State or going here and meeting Kaylee. Nope. I would be a crew Rogers. member. This I would be a crew member of of the Serenity. And no, that's not an option. You just get to meet them. You get to sit down and have lunch at a Burger King. Oh, just have lunch at a Burger King? Oh, then probably Jewel. It's <laughs> <laughs> a valid question. <laughs> but on fantasy, like, come on, man. I'm going to be a crew member of the Serenity, and, and Kaylee will be mine. I mean, that's, you know. Okay. I mean, you know. Crunchy, are you, are you a Firefly fan? Brown coat. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh we just got real. Um, <laughs> a lot of people that like to watch the same things I do have told me to watch the show like over and over and over. And I've watched yeah. the first episode like twice and not been able to get past like 35 minutes. Oh, oh. Time. oh that's the problem. Um, because pilot episode is like, well, which the pilot? First two pilots kind of really because Fox we're a bunch of idiots. Well, that's and, that's what I'm saying. Which pilot are you, are you like the actual pilot or the first episode to air? Uh, I don't know. It's on Amazon Prime. You need to get. You need to watch at least three episodes, and then decide. Yeah, but she's I've she's also can... she's also suffering from recommend recommendation fatigue. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, so you know what? Just, just be you, Crunchy. Just yeah. do what you do. <laughs> discover it in okay, your own time. Well, no, 
no, now Cabo saying that the pilot episode is extremely hard, but it's needed? Because some people have told me it's not needed, and I should just skip it. <clears throat> well, it depends on which pilot you're talking about. If you're talking about the train job, skip Ugh. that shit. It's the worst episode in the entire series. <laughs> if you're talking about the actual pilot that Fox didn't air first, they aired train job first instead, the actual pilot that, that Joss Whedon intended to be the pilot, it's like an hour and a half long. It's like a feature-length movie. Yeah. But it's yeah, amazing. That's the problem. It's yeah. a great so episode. You don't want one that's like an hour and a half. Here, here's the thing about Firefly. You can just pick a random episode and yeah. watch it. You're going to be fine. It's great. It's all great. Um, but yeah, so speaking of watching things, uh, not particularly great, though. I finally watched The Room. Has anyone watched The Room? I, not Room. The Room. I don't know if I have. The Tommy Wiseau uh, written, produced, directed, starred in... Um, this is pretty much the worst movie. I thought Troll 2 was the worst movie ever made. Um, I, I might be mistaken. I think The Room is the worst movie ever made. Really? Yeah. So we did, So for those of you that have been following the last several weeks, I've been putting together a, a backyard movie theater uh, project, and I finished it last week. So this weekend we had to fully you know, just dive into the experience. So we had people over... Uh, we put Lion King on first. It was a, you know, Lion King is just fantastic, but it was, you know, very, uh, you know, family friendly. The kids were out there. Uh, but then we watched Troll 2 mm -hmm. for the adults. Which, which uh, is the one you've been waiting to christen it with. Right, exactly. Yeah. So we watched Troll 2. Um, fantastic. Like, what an awful fucking movie that is. But how much fun it is to watch this, this just terrible piece of celluloid that was that was released to the world uh but then so last week i ordered the dvd of the room because i had heard so much about it and it was supposedly the worst movie oh, you bought this i did oh and yeah, oh my god <laughs> oh my god it is so bad oh my god it is it is, re it is really Really, really bad. Oh, really bad. Geez. Ah, like, like, is there is there anything in particular that you could say that would really encapsulate just how bad it is? Because really, really bad just sounds like my teenagers don't want to talk. Ah, uh, jeez, <laughs> it's okay. So to Tommy Wiseau, like I said, is the you know he he created this film. Mm -hmm. Um, all you have to do is watch and just go to go to YouTube and find an interview with him. Like a like a two just a two minute segment, and watch him, and you basically know what the movie is going to be like. Oh jeez, the, the the man is. Um, this is worse than Human Centipede. Well, see, that's a different sort of awful. <laughs> <laughs> At least Human Centipede follows a narrative, and it's like it's coherent. Um, it, it's disgusting and, and awful, but it, it, it's a coherent, coherent story. Um, the room is not a coherent story, like really at all. Um, but I highly recommend getting a whole lot of people together and watching it together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty, it's pretty um, like, it's so okay. bad that it's really Speaking good. of really awful things to watch, especially alone, <clears throat> Poppy. <laughs> I just my my coworker showed me Poppy this oh. week. Oh we both God. just discovered her, and we got sucked in. Oh, my. so so DJM uh, showed this to us back when we had him on the show, maybe a few months ago. And I actually created a playlist to show people just how awful it is. Uh, I and and I still can't explain why it's so fucking bad. <laughs> I, her music's good. Oh yeah, the, 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 the backing sounds, yeah. Yeah, but the Poppy character was basically created to be like a parody of social media and like like viral yeah. videos and all of that sort of stuff. And I, I think I think she did a good I don't remember the, the, the real name of the the actress, singer, performer, whatever. Uh, but but I think she's done a really good job of uh, you know, with the parody, but like I can't watch more than like thirty seconds of it at a time. 
Well, like apparently, uh, on her old YouTube video, before she had her fake name, Poppy, she had said she didn't know exactly what she wanted to do, but she knew she wanted to be known for being weird. So she's doing well. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, yeah. it, it, it's a total um, win. People yeah. are asking what Poppy is. Can you play a video? Oh, oh dear God. Um, yeah. Don't play so, a music video, because those are good. Just play, like, one of the, I'm I, Poppy. I am Poppy. I am Poppy. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to, oh, I'm, I'm, what, why, yeah. why am I logged into my account? Where's the damn, this is bullshit. <laughs> just, just, just search it and play it. It doesn't matter what account it is. No, well, I was uh, going to play the, the, because we got the, um, the Witchamajig at the playlist. So, right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. La, 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 la. Okay. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, that stop. That's like one stop of the it. worst. That's her pinned video. And it's, stop that shit. it's terrible. I'm gonna um, go down and try to find this first one because it's the one that. that God, the she's one got so many more now. Like she puts out so many. And there's one yeah. that's like I'm jumping, and it's just a video of her jumping for ten minutes. It's like yeah, on a loop. Like, I'm <laughs> jumping. I'm jumping. I'm ju- yeah, like it's it's really bad. Here I'm we go. Poppy. This- I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I am Poppy. Oh. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm yeah, Poppy. That's I'm not, Poppy. It, I'm Poppy. It, it. Stop it. I'm Stop Poppy. the thing. Stop the I'm thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. So bad. Ten minutes of it. <laughs> it. Ten minutes. It's literally ten minutes and one second of just that. It, uh. Yeah. Well, you know, it, she's somebody that I recognize her as a talented performance artist, but it, No. Not, no, you made your statement. I heard your statement. I'm done with you. <laughs> you but know? she like sucks everyone else in too because it freaks my coworker the fuck out. But so me and his brother started like we found out she was playing in Austin in November. And we're like, oh, we're going to surprise him with tickets. We're going to go. And it sold out already, which is really rare. So she, she's got millions of views, like 3.4, 1.5, yeah. two, uh, 250,000. Like, yeah. weird wins i'm just saying weird fucking wins because this is literally the craziest weirdest shit <laughs> ever well, there's a couple things going on the, the sounds and the colors that she uses are, are kind of like oh my god you know, this one this one it's only 20 it seconds draws, so. uh, it draws the ear hey come down here like what and what 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 <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I, I can't do it. 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 Stop. Stop the thing. Stop the thing. Oh. No, so. But, but everyone should go listen to Low Life by Poppy because it's a good song. <laughs> oh, my God. So the, the, the sounds and the colors that she uses are, are very drawing and it's kind of like a mesmerizing thing. That's yeah. part of it. Plus, she's cute and she looks like an anime character. So there's going to be that entire like anime nerd segment that's drawn to her right um, so i mean it's like a perfect storm of of things that why she gets so many views uh i don't i don't like it i, don't, I can't yeah i can't <laughs> i don't like can't I don't like yeah i know like uh, and, and now we've subjected our entire audience to it to it and that's that's what we feel about you guys so <laughs> deal, with, deal with that shit deal um with it. Hey, uh, this week, man, I, I I have something that I do that a lot of people don't do, and that's I love reading rules, especially Ooh. when they're ambiguous. Something about reading a rule that can be read three or four different ways and just trying to decipher exactly how it was intended, it, it I, I enjoy it. And the AFIs, the Air Force instructions that we have to deal with on a daily basis are written exactly like that, and I had the opportunity to do that like three times this week over a broad spectrum of different topics. I don't know why I love doing that. Maybe it's back when I couldn't, I didn't have any friends to play D and D with, so I just sat there and read the D and D rule books over and over again. But um, yeah, I had the opportunity, and that was my geeky thing of the week, man. I, I AFI geeked out. That is a geek fail, dude. Like that is. I mean, I know that we celebrate all things geek, but damn, dude, that, that's your like, personal bias coming through, man. Like I don't know why you're trying to AFI shame. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? No, I, you, when I saw this in the notes, I thought you were talking about the band AFI. I did too. No way. No. 
<laughs> Man, see, part of my job, as I know is also part of your job, is reading AFIs and DOD manuals and, and yep. things like that because we have to know those things. I don't read them because I want to. I don't read them because I enjoy it. Wait, 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 wait. Before you take it any further, let me explain. I wasn't just re randomly reading AFIs. I was presented a question of ambiguity in the AFI, and it was my task to go through and read it to decipher which way it was supposed to be, in, it was intended to be perceived. As, as is your job. So, yes, yeah. it, it was more of a logic problem than it was, oh, I love to read AFIs. It just so happens that AFIs are riddled with that shit. They're Got not it. written, a lot of them are not written very now, well. Now it's making sense. Okay. It's the riddle of it. Yes. It's the, uh, it's the logic puzzle, basically. And, and then if you read it one way and someone else reads it another way, then you got to kind of have this conversation. And, of course, I like the awkward, so when I can read it three different ways, and they're stuck on just the way they want to hear it. Like, I, <clears throat> I, I find that very entertaining. And I had the opportunity to do that with three different AFIs this week. Oh, man. Well, so. unluck you. That's... <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, if you're going to read AFIs, that's the best way to read it is critically against someone yes. else's opinion. Yes, yes. So. That is, you know, va valid point, valid point. I think anyone that's ever been in the military or worked for a uh, you know, like large corporate entity, that I think they would probably agree with you. Uh, if, if you have to read it, that is a good way to read it. Yeah. <laughs> Competitive rule reading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's go. Um. <laughs> Hey, uh, you know what's you know what's really competitive? What's that? The world of Patreon. Yeah, man. Like uh, insane competitive. You know, I I think it would be awesome if there was a way that we could jump into this competition, like be, become part of the game. Could we do um, that? We 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 have and we are, and currently we're losing. Um, <laughs> We we're, 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 we're down to 16 patrons donating $20 per week to this show to make it happen, make us happy, and uh, keep this thing going. And it's on the downward, downward trend. Now, we do, I do know for certain that we've had a few people, some of our bigger contributors, $5 here and $10 there, uh, recently had some major life changes and had to readjust their finances. And we fully understand that. Like We're not, oh, we're not dissing on that at all. No, 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 no! Absolutely, we we thank you for the contributions that you made. If you just made one dollar contribution for one month, like you are absolutely amazing. We love you. Yeah. Uh, so what we want to do is get more people like that to go over to Patreon.com/slash Ritual Misery. We're gonna do our best to give you reasons to come to our Patreon. We did something a, a couple of months ago with uh, Justin R. Young's mother. Um, it was a, a wonderful interview. It was, it was one of our most popular things we've ever done. That was given to patrons first, immediately after it happened. Uh, we, we give the post-show and the pre-show and all sorts of things, um, things from the archive. Uh, we intend to do a lot more things like this, specifically for our patrons. And um, yeah, man, and if People, anyone hasn't watched it, that Gloria Young stuff was good. Oh, it was, it was awesome. Super interesting, yeah. Out of that, I, I uh, dare say she's more interesting than her son. But uh, <laughs> I, hey, I, well, you love well, Justin, you will love Gloria. Oh yeah, uh, she is. She's fantastic. So yeah, head over to Patreon.com/slash Ritual Misery. Uh, give us a buck. Uh, what, what what's our saying? Get, uh, give a fuck. Give a buck. Yep. Uh, yeah, you can limit it. You can even limit that to one dollar a month, and um, I don't think you'll regret it. Like, no. show up for a month and uh, we, check out what's already there. Like, we it's, we it's, certainly won't. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know what, Amos? Hmm. We are not the only ones with a Patreon. Bullshit. We we own a Patreon. Like we're the only people <laughs> on the entire planet. That's why we're hoping for competition. That's what. That's why we say it every week is we're hoping the more people will jump on Patreon because it's such an amazing platform. It's a shame that we're the only motherfuckers using it. That's the problem no, with Patreon. Man. We're the only one. Hey. Only people on it. Hey, head over to patreoncom slash crunch files what what crunch with a k what no what like, what, 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 what is this oh, who, who the hell did crunch. this we, our we we were bullshit when we were talking about competition this is bullshit <laughs> who the Sorry, hell you're still winning you're who's still got winning. who's got the nerve to make another patreon <laughs> damn it this is crunchy tell us tell us what what people can expect if they sign up 
to be a patron of the Crunch Files? Oh, my life is weird, and it could be a lot weirder by my own doing. Uh, <laughs> but I can't afford all my adventures because I need money. And I <laughs> definitely don't expect people to pay for all my adventures, but everything helps. <laughs> so, yeah, my newest plan, I just... And I just, I just scheduled an appointment for Monday. I'm doing an experiment. An experiment? To, yes. <laughs> Everybody loves experiments, right? <laughs> ah, so I'm doing one to see how hard, as a straight woman, how hard it is to find a special massage. And like a, like I a want, happy massage? Yeah, like a happy ending. I don't, I don't want full service. I'm not going to go that far. Just like, you know, a little hand release or something. Uh, so I have my, I, I, I need a massage really bad. <laughs> so I have an appointment on Monday for, you know, whatever reasons. And oh, maybe boy. like monthly I can go get a massage and see how far I can get it to go. But so so this, is a long, this, this isn't like a one-off experiment. Like you're, you're, you've got a plan to build up to see what, what can happen with it. Yeah. 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 See, this this is the kind of shit you get with with Crunch Files. So cruise on over to patreon.com slash crunch files. Um sure. Yeah, there it is. Patreon.com slash crunch files. Then it's in the chat room. And it'll yeah. be in the show notes, of course. Um I mean it's 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 good to have some competition on the old uh on the old uh uh Patreon that's, there. That's uh, amazing. I you know what I I wanna know about I'm I'm signing up right now. As as the show is going on, I am becoming a patron of Crunch Files. Well, there Everybody you go. Everybody there and do the same. There you go. Um, there's a there's some other business we have yet to to attend to. Uh, there, Kent. Yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of it starts like this. You've got sixty seconds. Get your mind right. It's time for hot takes on the Ritual Misery podcast. Hey, uh, real quick before we go into the spiel, uh, Jotmon would like to know why he's missing out on the services auction. Um, you might even have some competition on the uh, oh. on the massage front. Like you, you might oh you might God. have started a trend here. There are people offering. <laughs> I see that. Um, however, <laughs> speaking of a services auction, I don't want to give spoilers. But the other thing that was written there is that I have a big story coming up. It'll break sometime early September. I wanted to do Don't Get Brodied. Mm. but they're not doing that this year at Dragon Con. So I uh. sent it into OPP for Justin. And if he uses it, I will say that a services auction is a thing in that story. <laughs> I don't know if he'll use it because everyone will fucking know it's me uh, and they're supposed to be anonymous. But <laughs> it's a good, good story. And if Justin doesn't release it, I'm releasing it. I really outdid myself this time. Mm. Just so you all know that. Well, there we go. Amazing. All right. Now let's let her compete against herself, Kent. How do we do this? Yeah, so Crunchy, <laughs> I'm going to give you a topic. You are going to rant and rave, say whatever you want to say until you hear the record scratch, and then I'm going to give you another topic. We're going to go for this about This is going to be like a minute months. of, uh, uh, uh so just I will so you know. That. So here we go, Crunchy. Shark drones, am I right? Shark drones, I had one, and I traded it for two rolls of toilet paper because I was too lazy to go get them. And it was supposed to be a big hit at Club Fuzzy's, Fuzzy's Taco Shop, and it never made it. And I was kind of disappointed about that. <gasps> Neighbor dogs, am I right? Neighbor dogs. Okay, so the person who just moved in below me doesn't have a creepy mustache this time, but he has an annoying, loud-ass, motherfucking barking dog. And that makes me think of Forgot About Dre and when me and Dre stood next to a burnt down house with a handful of gas or a hand, a handful of gas and a handful of lit matches. Still weren't, still weren't found, weren't found out. out. Poppy, am I right? Poppy. I'm Poppy. I am Poppy. I'm Poppy. <laughs> Play-Doh penises, am I right? <laughs> Yes. Um, did you ever, like, lick your Play-Doh when you were little? Because this is the perfect format for that. Um, I heard some people say they eat it. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and I bring it to bars because I go alone and I need stuff to do. So I make dicks <laughs> out of Play-Doh. <laughs> the Ritual Misery Podcast, am I right? I hate those guys. I don't even know why I'm here right now. <laughs> She's only here because she's got something to promote. 
<laughs> oh, that was amazing, Crunchy. You said that you were not going to be good at this. No, oh, this was this was awesome. Uh, you, you may not be good at uh at uh at hot takes, but hot takes is good at you. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> a lot of fun. Oh, Jesus. Hey, uh, we uh we're uh, we're man, we're actually going like kind of long. Um, Crunchy, are you going to be at Dragon Con? I am flying out just Saturday. For just Saturday, right? So you, you, there's Saturday, you party Saturday night. You hope to catch your flight Sunday? Yes. Okay. That's, yeah. I ran out of PTO because I have to go to a friend's wedding because she doesn't get married every year, thank mm. God, and Dragon Con's every year. So, mm. yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Hey, um, uh, let's, uh, let's get to a few things here. I'm going to randomly pop a story up on the screen. And uh, Crunchy, if you'll if you'll uh, if you'll explain this story to us, because you you always bring something awkward other than yourself, something <laughs> weird. You're like, you know what? Um, I, I bring the weird, but sometimes I just want to top it off with a little icing. So you brought some stories with you this week, and I'm just going to randomly hit one. I did not read these ahead of time, so I don't know which one I'm hitting. And uh, it's can you make be it that the girl eating the fishing lure? Because that's fucking funny. <laughs> uh, okay, no, that guy looks like somebody that would give mouth to mouth to his frog. For sure. <laughs> Tell me he doesn't. You know, just pick anyone. Just pick anyone. All right. So, Crunchy, this guy in England, um, he ha he had a near tragedy. He found his tortoise drowned. Um, sad day for him. What happened with him? He saved it. He put it, he put his mouth over its head, its entire head. And he gave it mouth to mouth for an hour. It spit out like a tablespoon of water. And he thought it was just, you know, him blowing it out. But then it started to come back to life. And he got a hair dryer and warmed it up with a hair dryer. And he massaged its legs. And he massaged it back to health. This Look at this guy, proud hero. Look at this, this proud guy hero. Loves his turtle. So <laughs> he found his tur his tortoise drowned in the pool. If you read, like, toward the bottom, he says that he waited an hour. Like, he called his daughter upset. And then an hour later, after this thing had died, decided to go out and try to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth on this tortoise. Um, uh, oh, my God. So, so I have some questions. I have, I have questions. <laughs> um, so, obviously, not worried about salmonella. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, I mean, pet tortoise, you know. Not. Right, but I if mean, it's your own family, no one cares. Uh, they don't say that about herpes. Um, uh, that's not true. <laughs> these motherfuckers. These hey, I, I see people at work herpes. all the time. People are people are leaking organs out of their mouth and nose, and their families kissing them. I just want you to know that. Was that too far? That was inappropriate, wasn't it? I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, people don't care when it's their own family. I want to see a picture of that. As awful as it sounds. But, oh my, but my next question is, how does a tortoise drown? Don't they like, like I don't, maybe, maybe nope. I'm maybe I'm not good enough with turtles. Maybe I don't understand turtles enough. They still breathe air. They live in water, but they breathe air. Yeah, turtles can breathe underwater, I think, but tortoises cannot, and they sink. Tortoises sink. They that's do a, not. That's a really <laughs> shitty distinction. I'm just saying. I like turtles. Like I'm like sorry. so, you're a turtle, but you drowned. Okay, so. I don't, I don't know. Dark Red Humor says he gives his turtles mouth to mouth daily. Keeps them healthy. I'm sure it does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta I'm do sure it. Sure, it does. What else we got, Amos? What, right, what uh, let's let's go with uh, this one right here. Um, woman drunkenly bites man's fishing line at St. John's County Pier. Uh, this one's actually got a video. Um, it's just gonna be one of those videos that explains shit as it goes along. So yeah, we're not gonna, just, just we're not gonna, we're not gonna bother watching that shit. Yeah, don't bother with that. <laughs> no. Um, uh, I mean, this lady, this lady uh, swam up to a man that was fishing and bit his fishing line and swam off <laughs> with his lure. So, uh, I've done some dumb things when I'm drunk, but that is one that I can say I've never done. <laughs> <laughs> Crunchy, uh, what, what is the concoction that you would have to drink that would cause you to jump into the water, swim up to a pier, bite off a man's fishing line, and swim off with his tackle. My original thought was Long Island iced tea, but I'm starting to think it would need to be something with absinthe or something. 
Like the foreign absinthe that actually gives you hallucinations, not like yes. the American absinthe. Yes. Yeah. So true story, <laughs> the drunkest I ever was in my life was in in Greece on the island of Crete on absinthe. The same absinthe that I saw people dumping on the bar and setting the bar on fire. I was drinking this and I blacked out for I don't know how long. The next thing that I knew, I was throwing up probably like two gallons worth of liquid. Um, it was really bad. I really bad. I like the fact that the lady that has a job that requires her to mess with dead people can't stand the thought of you throwing up two gallons of liquid. Like that's <laughs> what makes her cringe. <laughs> it is that that's the funniest thing about this job is it's funny to see what makes people cringe in school. Uh, we had one guy that's like, I'm not touching a penis. And we're like, you have to. Like, they need bathe. That's what's going to smell. And he's like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So anyways, he dropped out. Um, but oh, then gosh. other people that are like doing embalming, like won't touch feet. Feet? Feet are what gets you. Not like a liver. Feet. I, oh. <sighs> so, okay, my question on that is if a dude won't touch a dead dude's dick, what does his dick look like? <laughs> Guys tend to think touching other dicks is gay. You know what? I, I've touched a dick before. It, it's an it's occupational a, hazard sometimes. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, <laughs> this is it was when I was I was volunteering at a hospital, and uh, a disabled man needed assistance to um, provide his specimen, <laughs> if you will. Um, hmm. Not not. Not a semen sample. Come on, guys. No. Right. Uh, so uh, so one, one more story here. Suspect admits to doing meth and throwing rocks at cars, believing the purge was happening. This was my favorite one out of the whole batch. I didn't actually uh, read this one. I just read the headline. Not going to lie. I, I just want to make sure. It, it was not his meth rocks he was throwing at the cars, right? <laughs> no, because you... Bri- he was throwing bricks from the top of a building. You got to be really fucking high to throw your meth rocks at cars, <laughs> right? Let me get them rocks. Uh, bring up. Can you zoom in on the the picture of this guy? Like this guy. When you look at this guy, you you absolutely believe that he was high on meth, throwing bricks at police cars. Uh, he is yeah. hyper aware of his mugshot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he was hyper aware of the bricks that he was tossing. Uh, This guy, he full on believed that the purge was happening and he had to defend himself against everyone. That's amazing. And yeah, that that's that's pretty good. Uh, Crunchy, thank you for for providing links to all of these amazing articles. We're going to we're going to put these links in the show notes. Um, These and probably a couple other stories. So good. So good. Um, oh, the one about the wedding just amused me just because it said, like, the the couple that wedding crashed, it was their first date. And I think that's fucking adorable. I would love to do that on a first date. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Crash that's a good. wedding on a first date? Yeah. I mean, that's commitment. I think that's awesome. Like, that's, that, that's, that's not like, oh, we're just going to go catch a movie. Mm-mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good stuff. <clears throat> All right. Um, hey, Kent, did you? Uh, no, no, you didn't. I well, I didn't. Like, what? How did? How did? How did this happen? So usually each week, Amos or I will will choose a TED Talk for us to watch. But this week, our guest chose the TED Talk, and Amos. Can you can you tell us uh, who is the speaker for this week's TED Talk? Oh I, I, no no no! It's this one's actually kind of easy. It's Manoush Zomorodi. Sure. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that pronunciation. <laughs> See exactly. So the, the title of the talk was "How Boredom Can Lead to Your Most Brilliant Ideas." Crunchy, since you suggested it, can you give us a synopsis of what she was uh, trying to get across to us? Yes. Uh, it started with, <sighs> okay, so I was looking for other opinions on this because some of her examples weren't <clears throat> that amazing to me, but she was basically saying like they had everyone install an app and it would record how often, how, how many times you pick up your phone in a day and for how long you're on it. And mm. 
by the end of the experiment, people only stopped by like they only put their phone down for like six minutes more a day out of like 120, which mm. isn't incredible. But but the thing is, as people were doing this, they were having more and more ideas for what to do. And this is why I was slightly disappointed. But her example was that some lady didn't have her phone when she was walking up the stairs. So she was like, you know, I could probably just like walk back down these stairs and then go back up. <laughs> and then she did that like. She did it like 10 times and she's like, that's a workout for a day, which is whatever. I'm not, I have no comment on that. But, um, <laughs> um, and, and so like, those were like, she's saying like when you're the most bored, when you have nothing else to occupy your mind with the stupid little shit that phones do like Instagram, then you start coming up with more things to be more productive. It gave more productivity and more creativity to people in college. And it just all around people thought of more things to do that were better than social media or games two dots right. what sort of thing yeah right. um yeah the thing that i noticed about this most is that when i'm doing mindless activities i do exactly what she's talked about the little in bit of introspection mm -hmm. and you start planning things out and i do I'm like you know you know how it is when, you, when you're trapped in your own thoughts you think you're the only person that thinks like that and then she's like no that's fucking that everybody does that when you're bored like oh shit i'm almost normal <laughs> <laughs> you know and I, you know, so for me, I was thinking the same thing where I uh, – the the mindless things that I do on my phone is like, you know, the, these little like games like, um, you know, like that racing game that you introduced me to, Amos. It's a pretty mindless thing, you know. Um, I have most of my, my uh, best thoughts while I'm playing these things. Uh, but then I realized that uh, – Yes, I do have thoughts while I'm playing these games and whatnot. But if I just put my phone in my pocket and stand there for five or ten minutes, I have way deeper thoughts. Like more, more ideas come to me. More, mm. um, you know, more introspection, more cataloging of the, you know my day, my week. Uh, more plans for what I want to accomplish for the rest of the week or for next week or next month. Uh, ideas for like, oh, that would be a great guest on the podcast. Uh, my mind is more productive if it's bored. And I absolutely agree with with everything that this lady said during this this talk. Yeah. Anybody just Amos? This is, um, great. this is a great pick. Do you th do you think you um you uh, uh are more creative while you're distracted by something or or when you're just uh blanking out basically I like, I, I call them stink things. Mm. Oh, like shitter thoughts. Yes, stink things. Um, <laughs> right. you're sitting on the shitter, you got nothing else to do besides you know push turd. Uh, <laughs> your brain. People bring just... their phone in now though. But I used to, and now I now I avoid that because it, it gives me that that little bit of time for a stink think. And, uh, okay. you know, it, it just works out better that way. Right. They're, like, uh, like it, both in the mind and in the body, they both work out better <laughs> when, when you're not, you know? Yeah. Cabo that's says, that's what I use your show, show for. <laughs> so he's not thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, yeah that's, that's what a shower is for me because that's the longest that I go without looking at a screen. Yeah. Really. Yeah, when I'm in the pretty shower. Pretty much. Yeah, uh, which could also be called a stink think. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't shit in the shower. Well, no, <laughs> but you don't smell good going in. <laughs> uh, yeah, accurate. And it's accurate. debatable on whether you smell good coming out. <laughs> I always smell beautiful. Excuse me. She well, says, I, mean, girls, I always smell good. Smell good. <laughs> yeah, girls just smell good, right? I mean, that's just kind of yeah. Because the girls. I smell like cherry blossoms. Because that's what my <laughs> bathing gel. What do you call it? Shower wash shit. Shut up. Brain uh, fart. Soap. Soap. <laughs> yeah, soap. soap. We call it soap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can, you can go as far down the train as you want, but we call it soap part. around here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shut up. Um, Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, this is uh, this is that time of the night when we go, Crunchy, where can people find out more about you and your, uh, your, your weirdness? At Crunchy89 on Twitter and Snapchat. I don't do Snapchat super often, but sometimes I'll get sucked into it for like two weeks and just post like 30,000 things. Um, and 
Instagram is crunch89. It's private. You need to request to follow me. And uh, crunchfiles.weebly.com. There you go. Hey, yeah. Kent, how about you, man? Well, I was going to say, don't forget about patreon.com slash crunchfiles if you want to be in on uh, all the crazy stories that are to come. Oh, yeah. Let uh, me be the dick that cuts off the Patreon. I, I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you want to follow me, check me out. I am at RM underscore Del Noche on Twitter. I'm Del Noche pretty much everywhere else, including on Untapped. If you're a beer person, get on there and, and add me. Where are you at, Amos? Uh, I'm Ethan Kane on Twitter, uh, Amos to my friends, Anthony to, uh, other people. And, uh, that's not really important because I just like to remark on uh, when Walmart discounts shit down $0. Um, follow the show. You can follow the show on Twitter at ritual misery. You can submit ideas on our subreddit, ritual misery And of course you can go by there and make comments on each of our episodes. No matter what we put out, it all feeds over there and a uh, big, big, long, long stream of a bunch of files with no, uh, n- nothing in it. Um, in comptech.com, Kevin McLeod, he's going to be on the show soon. We're trying to finish, uh, finalize the booking on that, but he's going to be on the show, and that's going to be amazing. And uh, cruise on over to ritualmisery.com to find out everything else you need to know about us. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>